Ooh, this woman got a job as a telemarketer. She's a brave woman. A lot of people don't like telemarketers. Well, in this lesson, I'm going to give you a few tips that I think will make you become a better telemarketer. Hey, if you like getting tips like this, I would be so happy if you subscribe to my channel right down there. Okay, so you're going to work in a call center. This might be a very big building with lots of people, maybe hundreds of people on headsets talking to people, you know, around the world. Wow, that would be a, a very interesting environment to work in. Okay, and you're going to be doing marketing and sales. Okay, both these words mean the same thing. It means you're trying to sell a product or a service by phone. That's where the term tele marketing comes in telephone marketing okay so who do you call when you're a telemarketer well companies get people's contact information from somewhere and those contacts are called leads leads okay now there can be warm leads and cold leads warm leads are when a person has given their information to the company Cold leads are when the company has just got that information from somewhere else and the person doesn't know who you are or why you're calling. Okay, both situations can be challenging, but warm leads are easier to work with. Okay, so you're going to be calling leads. Now, some companies give their telemarketers a script to follow. Okay, so if they want you to follow a script, then you should follow the script. And then it's really just easy. You just read the script, right? Okay, so what should you do first? Well, the first thing is going to be your introduction. You're going to do five things in your introduction. You're going to do your greetings. Then you're going to ask for the person you're trying to speak to. Okay, then you're going to give your name and then your company's name then the purpose of the call. Okay, so let's take a look at these five things in, in real. Okay, so, good evening, is this Mr. Burns? Hi, my name is Priyanka Sharma. I'm calling on behalf of XYZ Corporation. I'm calling you to tell you about a new product that we recently came out with, or whatever. Why are you calling them? Tell them the purpose of your call, okay? So you did your greetings, you asked for the person. Now. If it's a cold lead and you don't have any information about them, well then you, you can't do this. So you would just leave this out. You would just say, good evening or good morning. My name is Priyanka Sharma. I'm calling on behalf of XYZ Corporation. Okay, your name, company's name, and then the purpose. All right, uh, then sometimes people ask for time. They, they ask the person if they have the time uh, to talk. They might say, is this a good time to call? Or do you have a few minutes to talk? Sometimes telemarketers do this. When they, when they call me, they say, do you have a few minutes to talk? And usually I say, no, I don't have a few minutes and then I hang up. That's why telemarketing is very challenging because people aren't expecting your call. They don't know why you're calling. They, they don't want to worry about that. They just they want to forget about that, okay? So it's, it's a very challenging job. Okay, so after your introduction, then you're going to give your sales pitch. Here you're going to talk about the product or service that is being offered. Okay, what are you going to, what are you trying to sell them? Okay, let's take a look at this example. Our company is offering a new credit card with guaranteed approval. Maybe you work for a credit card company and you're calling people to try to sell credit cards. Guaranteed approval, uh, no annual fee, only 15% interest. Okay, you're going to give them some information about the product. That's called the sales pitch. Okay, then after the pitch, you're going to try to close. You could say this, could I sign you up for this credit card today? Could I sign you up today? Then they might say, yes, I would love to, but more likely they will give some objections. Now, anyone who's ever worked in marketing and sales uh, knows that these happen a lot. People raise objections like this. 
I already have a credit card. Or the interest rate is too high. Okay, those are called objections. And you need to know how to handle objections. Okay, you could say something like this. I understand that it might seem inconvenient to have two credit cards, but I would recommend having a second one that you can use for emergency purposes. So after you handle their objection, then you're going to try to close again. Could I sign you up for this credit card today? And then they might give another objection and then you handle that objection until, until basically they buy the product. That would be ideal. Now, the reason a lot of people don't like telemarketers is because they're often too pushy. Okay, they try to force you to buy their product or service. So that's the first tip I have. Don't be pushy. I mean, it's good to try to make the sale, handle their objections. But, you know, at the end of the day, if someone really doesn't want to buy the product, that's okay. Just, just leave that call and go to the next one. Okay, so the second tip is don't read a script. Maybe the company has given you a script to read, and that's okay. But the problem is when you're reading something, the other person knows it. They know when you're just reading a script, as it's just part of your job, and then you move on to the next call. No one wants to feel treated like that. It's almost like you're being treated like an animal. You're not treated like a person, okay? So if you do have to read a script, try to memorize the script and make it sound really natural, okay? So the third tip is be personable. What does this mean, personable? That means personal. Be a real person, okay? Don't just be someone on the other side of the world that doesn't care about any anything, any anybody. Okay, try to care about the person. You could ask them, how's your day going? How's your day going? Okay, then they feel, oh, okay, this person cares about me. This isn't just a normal pitch. He's not just giving me my sales pitch. He's asking me about how my day is. So that's really great, okay? So the fourth tip is don't take rejection personally. Now, this can be really hard because when you work as a telemarketer, you're going to face so much rejection. But you know what? That's okay. Don't let it get into your heart, into your mind. Just deal with it, move on, and, and go to the next one, okay? Use this as a learning opportunity, okay? That's tip five. You will learn so much. Try to enjoy the process. See it as a challenge that is making you into a better person. You know, all the best people in the world, they've gone through a lot of challenges that have shaped their character. So if you work as a telemarketer, I think that's a great experience. I take my hat off to you. That means I respect you, that you're doing great. It's a very challenging job. Uh, keep it up. You probably won't have this job forever. So while you have this job, try to learn as much as you can. You'll probably develop some really great people skills when you have this job. Okay. Now I made another lesson uh, for English at a call center. Uh, now that lesson was focused on not telemarketing, but the support positions in a call center. Okay, maybe you work in a call center and you're, you're not selling anything, but people are calling you to get help with their computers or their phones or some software or something like that. Okay, so I made a lesson on that. I'll post the link to this lesson right up here at the end of this lesson. You can go check that out. Okay, so I want you to tell me about a difficult person you had to deal with. Anyone who's working in marketing or sales has stories about difficult people they've had to deal with. Okay, so I want to know about your situations. Tell me about some interesting situation that you've had to deal with down there in the comments, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.